going on, Jobless Gamer community? This is Garrett, better known as Jobless Gamer Robin, to you guys here on the channel. And guys, today I want to do a little rant. This is going to be a series that I'm planning to bring to the channel. I don't know, depends on if you guys like it, which is going to be called Off the Chest. I'm not sure if that name is for sure yet, but this is basically where I just talk about things that bothered me this week. And it'll probably be on top of some random gameplay of a random game. So, with that being said, let's go over what happened today. Now, in my family, for some reason, I, I live in a Hispanic household. And everything is on the moment. Everything is like now or never. So, I was faced with this situation where I had woken up one Sunday morning. And I, like every Sunday morning, wake up somewhat early to really edit videos and do a little bit of homework towards the end of the day. Well, this Sunday morning, I woke up around 10 a.m. And I really wanted to edit some videos today and really get out a bunch of stuff because I, I had big events coming the next weekend. I really wanted to just have a bunch of videos for you guys all laid out. I wake up. I go out to the living room. Hey, Grandma, which is who I live with, is there breakfast? She says, no, I already ate. So I was like, all right, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to have a nutritional shake, which is like a boost. Or I think mine's like, I don't even know what it's called. And I just go on my my morning. I, I to me that was my breakfast, and my my grandmother had let me know, hey, by the way, your grandfather hasn't ate yet. Now I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna have one of these shakes. So, with that said, I continue my morning. I go to my room, start editing a video. About 30 minutes later, my grandfather barges into my room. Hey, let's go right now. We're gonna get breakfast. And that's how it always is in my family. It's always like if you don't come now, you're gonna miss on an opportunity of a lifetime. That's how they always make it seem. And I was just like, N um, uh, no, I'm not going to go with you. Like, I have stuff I need to do, and I have to pick up my friend from the airport in about an hour, so I, I really can't go with you. I have a lot of things I need to do. And he took it so bad. Like, he was just like, wow, you're saying no? Like, he didn't say that, but he, like, you could tell in his face. He was just like, what? Like, really? You're denying me breakfast? Like, if it was like, this was like once in a lifetime opportunity that I could never do like tomorrow or the next day so he took it really bad in my opinion and he goes and gets his, his breakfast from I don't know where he goes 20 minutes later I go out to the living room and I talk to my grandma hey wait where's grandpa is he not back yet she's like no he went to go get breakfast and I'm like oh okay and she's like well why didn't you go with him I'm like oh because I already I already had uh, breakfast and I had stuff I needed to take care of and I like 75% of the time whenever they ask me to do something I always go with them and do it but Sometimes I am busy because I'm not always available at that second that I can go. Well, I guess she doesn't see that. She, like, for some reason, a lot of times people only see the negative or the bad side of things and don't remember the good things. Like, it's like you mess up once and that's it. Everything that you ever did good is ruined. So that's basically what the situation I was facing was she was like, you never have time for us. You never want to go do anything with us. But if one of your friends calls you or one of your friend's family members calls you to go have breakfast, go have lunch, you stop what you're doing and go do it. I'm like, that's wrong because they tell me a week in advance, a day in advance. They give me time. They don't tell me on the spot. So if you guys are faced with situations like this and really want to just drop a comment and have similar stories, leave it down below. I do read the comments and I do comment back to you guys. And just thanks for listening, guys. I hate these situations where people put you in just on the spot things like you have to do it now or never. It just really sucks. It's been Jobless Gamer Robin, better known as Garrett in Real Life, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. If you guys enjoyed this series or little episode, make sure you drop me a comment, let me know, and you guys might see some more rants in the future. Later, guys. Oh, wait, yeah, I can, I can re put it. I can put it back. Oh, shoot! What? Just because you say no homo doesn't mean it's not gay you know you can't you can't be like yo Garrett you want to have some gay sex bro no homo you can't say that <laughs>